Hi, I'm Amber. I work at Pembroke College um, in Cambridge and I've put together this short video to try and answer some of the questions that we're often asked at events such as Open Days. If you still have a question at the end of uh, watching all of these, then please do feel free to get in touch with us directly. Uh, you can do so by emailing adm at pem.cam.ac.uk um, and we'll be happy to help, but I hope that this gives you uh, the answers to at least some, some of your queries. So a question that we get asked a lot, and the first one that I'd like to address um, is whether or not taking four A-levels makes you more likely to receive an offer of a place at Cambridge. Now, the first thing to say um, is that no Cambridge course asks you to have more than three A-levels. So by no means are we expecting candidates to be applying with more than that. If you do have more than three A-levels, then it's possible that we might give you an offer based on all of the A-levels that you're taking. But this is only likely in subjects where your fourth A-level is further maths and all your other A-level subjects are also relevant. So this might therefore apply to you if you're thinking of applying for natural sciences, engineering or computer science, for example. In general, however, we would always rather that you have a deeper and broader knowledge of the subjects that, you, that are most relevant to the course that you'd like to apply to, rather than taking extra A-levels and perhaps not doing quite so well overall as a result. Something else that we frequently get asked is how many sevens, eights or nines you need at GCSE in order to be eligible for, to apply. And the university doesn't actually ask for a set GCSE profile. We know that how well you do in later exams and later qualifications, such as your A-levels or the International Baccalaureate, is a better indicator of how well you're likely to do if you came to study with us. So we're more interested in those. We do, of course, look at your GCSEs, though. We're really most interested in the subjects that are most applicable um, to, to the subject that you're hoping to study at university. It's probably worth mentioning as well that um, we treat eights and nines equally uh, from the GCSEs and both are considered as the same as A stars in the previous um, means of, of qualifying exams. So another question that we get asked quite a lot um, is how much of the different parts of the application process count towards whether or not you go on to receive an offer of a place? And the first thing to say is that all applications at Cambridge are assessed holistically and quite a, few, a number of different people will look through all the different aspects of your application if you choose to apply to us. We recognise that all the students who apply to us are individuals and that you'll all be applying with different areas of strengths and weaknesses in your application and that's completely normal. Uh, that's the case for all of the students who apply to us pretty much. Our role in the admissions office is to try and determine from all of the information that we have available to us who look to be the strongest candidates overall. And as a result of that, it's impossible for us to say that a particular part of the application process um, will count more or less than other sections as we look at everything and then we take it all into consideration. However, it is really important um, it is really helpful for you to have predicted grades that are in line with our typical offer for the subject that you're hoping to apply to study with us. In fact, most of the applications uh, or most of the students who apply to us and who go on to receive an offer of a place and um, also go on to exceed the university's typical offer levels. So how many state school students are there at Pembroke or at Cambridge? Now, the number of state school students at both the university and at Pembroke College has been increasing um, over recent years. And every year, the university publishes statistics online uh, that show the different, the different um, data for different colleges, different subjects, uh, different school types and lots of other things. So I would encourage you, if you're interested in that, to have a, go, to have a look at the website that's, that's listed on the screen now. Or you can just Google Cambridge statistics and it comes up and you can have a look for yourself there. Now, the data hasn't yet been published uh, for students who started in 2019, uh, but it will be soon. But for home students who started at Cambridge in 2018, the figures are that 65.2% of them uh, were, were, yeah, were from state schools. Um, and for Pembroke, that figure said it's 65.7%. Another question that we get asked on occasion um, is whether we give contextual offers. And when I refer to contextual offers, I'm specifically talking about giving reduced offers to candidates based on their particular background um, or a course or a, or a programme that they might have participated in. 
And the short answer to that is that no, we don't give reduced offers to applicants. What we do do, however, is look at each of our applicants and assess their achievement in the context of their educational history and various other circumstances. So we'll look at the type of school they go to and we look at how well students in that school tend to achieve and all of those sort of things to give us a much more nuanced view um, about their predicted grades and what they actually mean.